All right, so today was a pretty normal day, right? The sun rose in the east, and pretty soon we'll set in the west. Water is wet. When a bear has to go, number two, where does he go? In the woods. And Georgia football players get arrested. Unfortunately, these are all things we can assume happen on a daily basis. I'm not trying to be funny here by saying that, but it is a cold, hard truth at this point. The Georgia football program right now, when it comes to off-the-field incidents, is an absolute mess. And the number one person to blame for it is Kirby Smart. The reason why Kirby Smart is to blame is because he doesn't care. I can tell you right now, Kirby Smart does not care about how his players act off the field. He does not care how his players' actions impact those in the community. He does not care that his players, on a daily basis now, unfortunately, are putting the community of Athens and the entire state of Georgia at risk every single day. You want to know why I know that he doesn't care? Because this garbage keeps happening. Players keep getting arrested. Dangerous acts keep being committed. And there's no sign right now that it's slowing down anytime soon. The latest arrest we learned was earlier today of wide receiver Ra Ra Thomas. You ready for this? He was arrested on a felony count of cruelty to a child along with two other misdemeanor battery charges. It's sad because not only are those horrific charges in and of itself, but this is not the first time Ra Ra Thomas has been arrested on similar charges like this. He transferred over from Mississippi State back in January of 2023, barely being on campus. He got arrested for similar actions. So this is now twice this guy's been arrested for domestic, we'll say, involvement. But it's not just that. Look at the last three years of the Georgia football program. There have been either arrests or incidents 47 different times when it comes to reckless driving or DUI. That's horrific in and of itself. But it gets even sadder when you go back to the unfortunate tragedy that happened when a player in Devin Willick and a staffer in Chandler LaCroix both were unfortunately killed in a crash after the the national championship celebration, after a parade in Athens. They both were killed, unfortunately. You would assume, you would think, right, when something that devastating happens so close to home that lessons would be learned. That was back in January 2023. Unfortunately, no lessons have been learned because since that horrific tragedy back in 2023, there have been 24 incidents or arrests of driving with Georgia football players. Kirby Smart has done nothing to stop it. This is the most powerful man in college football right now. You really want to tell me that there's nothing he can do to get his players in line? There's nothing he can do to send a message that this type of behavior is not okay? You really don't think he has the power to nip this in the bud? This is on Kirby a million percent, and it's getting ridiculous. It is getting absolutely ridiculous, and it's getting dangerous. This is essentially... Florida under Urban Meyer 2.0. Where the team is great on the field, a lot of wins, national championships, but also a menace to society off the field. This, this is unacceptable. This is absolutely unacceptable. And it's frustrating because there's no rule that says you have to pick either good football players or good human beings. They're not mutually exclusive. You are able to have both a very good football player and an outstanding citizen to the community. For whatever reason, Kirby Smart either doesn't recruit those players or doesn't care about trying to discipline any of them once they get in trouble. He has to get control of his program. I don't understand how this team can be so disciplined on the field There is so much attention to detail every single week in terms of their game plan. They rarely lay an egg. He has the ear of that team on the field. Yet off the field, nobody 
either he doesn't care or no one listens to him because they know he's not going to do anything. I laugh. Going back a few weeks ago at SEC Media Days, when Kirby Smart was asked about these driving-related um, arrests, the latest being when Trevor Etienne was arrested for DUI leading up to SEC Media Days, Kirby Smart tried to spread optimism as to why his program's in good shape when it comes to all these off-the-field distance. Take a listen to Kirby. You know, I always say you, you can't be outcome-related, and I'm very disappointed in the outcomes, but I am very pleased with our process we've put in uh, in terms of education, uh, driver safety, requiring defensive driving, uh, education, talking about it, having leaders stand up and talk about it, bringing speakers in and talk about it, suspending players, dismissing players, which we've done. I don't know to this point any coach in college football that suspended a player for a driving citation. We have. We have. And we've also dismissed players based on uh, driving citations. Nobody's done that. So uh, hopefully they get the, the idea and the information. That's laughable. That is absolutely laughable. Look at the stats. He says that, oh, you know, we're doing everything to make sure they're aware. 47 driving arrests or incidents. 24 since two of your people involved in the program were killed. Yet yeah, nothing is changing. I'm not outcome-oriented. I'm process-oriented. That works great on the football field. Because in that, in that presence, you are right. Habits over outcomes. But we are, to, we are not talking about football. We are talking about life and death. When it comes to life and death, you know what matters more than anything? Not the process, the outcome. Are you going to live or are you going to die? Are you going to put people in positions where they could be killed? Or are you going to be an outstanding citizen, just go about your way and not put anyone else's life in harm's way? Right now, with Georgia football, they, on a weekly, it feels like daily basis, are putting other lives at risk. And Kirby is doing nothing about it. You could talk about process, blah, 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 all you want. We do this, we do that. The process isn't working. Nothing is changing. It's like he's talking about, oh, we're, we're fixing the 4-3 defense, and we're, you know, we're going to stick to our process, and I know we're giving up 55 points a game, but don't worry, this defense is going to turn around. That's the equivalent. He's making these changes. He's implementing these, you know, programs that are not working. The, either the players are not listening, they're not actually doing them, they don't care, there's no fear. If they don't do them from Kirby Smart taking away playing time or disciplining them, this is, egre this is egregious and ridiculous. Kirby Smart is not in danger of getting fired. But maybe that's part of the problem. Maybe that's why he doesn't care. Because he knows as long as Georgia wins football games, no one's going to do anything to, to remove him from that position. And maybe that's why he's not cracking down on, on players' habits off the field. Maybe that's why players are not worried about discipline from Kirby Smart. Because they know if they're caught speeding, but they're a star player, they're going to play. There is something clearly wrong with Georgia. And it's frustrating and sickening every single week to see a new headline about a new player arrested and putting someone else's life in jeopardy. This has to stop. And the answer is getting Kirby Smart to actually care.